Welcome, friends. Welcome back to another in our KFC series. Um, now, if you've been following along, you kind of know what's going on. If this is your first time, there's a whole bunch of videos leading up to this point, but I'll give you a short synopsis. We set out to replicate KFC to see if we could figure out the 11 herbs and spices. And along the way, we've been testing recipes, and a lot of people have been emailing me their recipes, saying that this is the one. And we've gone through some of them in previous uh, episodes. Some of them are close. Some of them aren't close at all. Um, there's one from the Chicago Tribune that everybody uh, sends to me and says, this is it, and it just isn't. It isn't even close. But today we're going to do a recipe that's a little bit different than all of the others in that it has a couple of, uh, a couple of herbs and spices that don't show up in any of the other recipes. Uh, and the story that goes along with it is, um, is something I wish I could share with you, but it's just so out there that there's no way that it couldn't be true. In the end, um, this person's grandmother worked for Harlan Sanders um, and has a handwritten copy of the recipe that she was given by Harlan. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to see if it's close. We're going to see if family lore matches up with flavor. Now I'm going to put everything into this blender jug because I want to end up with a really nice fine powder. So, white pepper, number one ingredient. Nothing uh, too strange about that. Black pepper. Sage. Coriander. Ginger. Cayenne. This is one of the outliers. This is vanilla. Ground bay leaf. Ground savory ground clove, and ground cardamom. Okay, lid on and blend. Okay, so spices into this container. And I gotta tell you, you should probably wear a mask to do this because I've had more than four or five coughing fits so far. I've had to turn off the camera. Okay, now, uh, just like all of the recipes, MSG. There's definitely MSG in there. And then um, salt. Quite a bit of salt. Uh, all of the recipes have salt. Some of the people who have sent me recipes add the salt when they do the flour, and some of them put it in with the spice mix. Um, I'm kind of inclined to put it in with the spice mix. I don't know why. And we'll give this a shake just to combine everything, and then we'll come back and we'll start flouring some chicken. So we put the flour in, and then the spice mix, and we give this a really good stir, get it completely incorporated. This, uh, this spice mix is pretty powerful, uh, really pungent, and it uses quite a bit more than the uh, other ones that I've tested for the same amount of flour. Now here I have an egg wash, which is one cup of milk and one egg, and into it we're just going to put the chicken, same as always. And if you haven't been following along, at this point, KFC just does a water dip because they put powdered milk and powdered egg in with the flour. This isn't a marinade, we're just trying to get the outside of the chicken wet so that this sticks to it. So into the flour and get it completely coated. Officially, KFC has a pattern, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. I just want to get them fully coated, all the nooks and crannies, get the spicing everywhere. Knock as much flour off as I can, and then I'm going to wash my hands before moving to the next step. You drop the chicken about three quarters of the way into the oil, and then let go. with three quarters of the way in, and then let go. Put the lid on, tighten it down.
Back for another tasting. All right, so I'm in my uh, chicken tasting outfit. <laughs> so this I'm is ready. this is um, this is a mystery spice mix with an incredible story that I wish I could share, but I can't. Now the color is a little bit different this time, mm -hmm. and that could be my cooking. I may not have got the time exactly right, but uh, let's give it a go. Which one do you want to start with? Well, this one on the right. Okay. Stay consistent. I really like that. Yeah. I'm not sure it's KFC, but I really like that. Yeah. It's like they're similar, but this one has a bit more of one thing, and this one has a bit more of something else. It's like this one has more pepper or something like that, something of that style, and this one has something that is more, um, I want to say savory-ish, like a... Okay, so this... <clears throat> Like a, a, you know what I mean? Like something in that, that leaf family of stuff. Does that make sense? So this one has <clears throat> uh, vanilla, dried vanilla, mm. and it has bay leaf. None of the other ones that we've tested so far have had vanilla and bay leaf in them. It's really good though. I never thought it of is, putting vanilla in it. That is an amazing piece of chicken. I don't know that it's KFC, but that is an amazing piece of chicken. I wonder if... Okay. I have all sorts of interesting things to think about. But yeah, no, if you were putting them side by side and said, you know, and brought me, that is not. Not quite. Not quite. But. Okay, so we are going to do a big taste off of the last three recipes that we've done. <sighs> so this mis the mystery recipe, Earl's and Dustin's. Okay, and the premise of it is we're going to what? And then at the end of that, we're going to see which one is the closest to KFC, because I think these three recipes are closer than any of the ones that we've come to so far. Yeah, I think that they, I think at least for two of them, I could almost not distinguish them if you, yeah. So come on back for the big finale. Whew. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> see you again soon.